Hi guys, in previous video we have seen how we can create a document inside a collection or how I, we can add the data inside the cloud Firestore database and in this video we will see how we can retrieve the document from a collection or how we can retrieve the data from the Firestore database. We will see how to retrieve the data from the Firestore in three different ways. First, when we know the ID of the document that we want to grab a single document from a collection and we know the ID of that particular document. Second is when we don't know the ID of a particular document. And third to retrieving all the document inside a collection. So let's get started. So first we will see how we can retrieve the document when we know the ID of the document. In this way, we will see how to retrieve a particular document from a collection and we know the ID of a particular document. Okay. So let's get started. Okay. In the right side of the window, you can see I have rendered a screen in which I asked the user about the document ID. He needs to enter the ID of the document that he want to retrieve. And when he provides the document ID and clicks the continue button, after that, the data that is coming from a particular document like this will be getting feed inside a this inside these text field. Okay. So this will be the first way of, uh, of our retrieving the document. So you can see I have when the user clicks on continue button, I have first check whether the document provided by the user is not null. If it is null, I, ha I have shown a snack bar like this that is provide the document ID and when it is provided, it will show the model bottom sheet. And this model bottom sheet will return the future builder because we need to show the progress of the retrieving data because it will take a time to retrieve a data and we need to show the progress to the user. That's why I'm using this model bottom sheet and returning the future builder. And after that, we are returning the progress. And when we got the data, we will return a column and inside this column, I will return a children and then I will provide text retrieved successfully. And after this on pressed of this elevated button, we will simply call navigator.close navigator.pop context. And after that, we will set the document. We will set the data inside this text field. So first of all, I will like to set the data of the name. So I will call it name uh, text editing controller. And then I will call the text of this text editing controller and initialize this text editing controller from a data that we are getting from this data sort. And this data shot will contain the document snapshot that we are getting from the retrieved value. So when we retrieve a document from a collection, it will return a document snapshot. That's why the type of this feature builder is document snapshot. And our data just come inside this data snapshot when it is successfully retrieved. So we will use this data snapshot, data shot dot, then a data. And this data will return the same document snapshot. That is the snapshot of the current document that you are getting to retrieve. And then we will call the get function which is available inside this document snapshot. This document, this get function will ask for the field that you want to access. Suppose I, I want to access this name field, that is the name field and the value of this name field. Then I will like to copy this name and then I will, I will paste it inside this get function to get the name field. And this get function will return the value of this name field that is Vishal and then it will store inside this name.text. Okay. The same will happen for email as well. So I will call the email text editing controller dot text equal to data shot dot data. And after that, I will call the get function. And inside this get function, I will call the email because I want the email value. So I will call the email key to get the value from that key or field. Okay. And the same will and rest will happen for country code and phone number. So I will copy this and then I will paste it inside below here and just change, change the name with country code and I will put it country code. So make sure the key that is available inside here should be provided here. If it is not provided, you will get an error 
so make sure you have provided the right key or accessing the right key so now we need to provide the future of this future builder so what i will do to provide the future of this future builder i will create a function and uh, i will create a function called retrieve drive data and uh, i will ask for the document id and uh, it is a future that's why i will call it a sync and then i will call firebase firestore dot instance dot collection and our document is inside the users collection that why i need to pass the collection reference of our document and after that document function and inside this we will pass this document id that we are getting from the user and then i will call the get function to get the document and this get function will return the document snapshot so i will hold it inside a document snapshot value snapshot instance and it should be a type of map and the map should be a type of string and dynamic and i will call it snapshot equal to and i should write await because it is a future okay now after this i will return simply return the value of this function and uh, i will return the snapshot and since we have we are returning this document snapshot so i need to specify the signature of this function so i will call future and then i will pass the document snapshot and after this the our function is ready so now we are ready to call this function inside the future of this future builder so it is inside the authentication class you can create anywhere you want i am creating created this inside the authentication class and i will call the instance and after that i will call the function that is retrieve data and the document id should come from the document text editing controller dot text dot to string and that's it so let's check whether it is working or not so when i click i provided the id here you can see so, and so when i click on continue it will show the progress and after some time it will load the data inside this text field so now you can see retrieved successful we successfully retrieved your data when i click on close it will close the model bottom sheet and our data will be available inside this text field here it is so in this way you can retrieve the data when you know the document id of a particular document and in the second way we will see when we don't know the id of a document and we want to retrieve it so basically when we don't know the id of the particular document so how we can retrieve is a great fact or it is a great problem so you need to specify the unique item inside a document to access this particular document so here you can see i have a specific unique value as a email so i will use this email to get this document okay so let's see how we can retrieve the uh, document when we don't know the id of a particular document so rest will be with the same that we have previously made in the previous way that we have made right now rest will be the same what we need to change is inside the retrieve data function and then we are using a email for searching the document so we will use this email to get the document so what we will do instead of using doc and the get function we need to use the where function so where where we will call where and then we will provide the email that is the field and after that we will use equals is equal to and then we will pass the email that we are getting from the from the uh, fun, uh, argument of the function and then this where keyword will return the query so what we need to do is to get the query dot and then we will call the get function this get function will return the query snapshot not a document snapshot so we will change it with the query snapshot and after that we will use this snapshot to get the document 
snapshot dot docs and this docs will return the list of document snapshot which contains the email which matches with the email pattern here every document contains a unique email that's why we will get only one document not a list more than one so we will call the first to get the first document from a list so this first will contain the query document snapshot instance and after that after that we will get the id we can get the id from the id instance so this id will return the id of a particular document that you have accessed here it will return this id and when you don't want the id and instead you want the data then you will call the data function to get the data of a particular document make sure uh, make sure uh, remember that this data will not return the id of a particular document if you want the id then call the id otherwise if you want the data then call the data okay this data will return the map of a data and then we will hold this map and then we will simply return this map so what i will do i will cut this and just paste it in here and after that we need to change the specifier so what i will do i will change it with a map and a string dynamic and also we need to change it here because the type is different so i will change it with a map string dynamic and now our data our data sort should be a type of map so we can directly call the data sort dot data and then we will call the bracket big bracket and after that make sure you add the null check and in this way we will access the particular field so we will copy this email and again we will copy this with a country code so in this way we can retrieve the data when you don't know the id of a particular document so let's check whether it is working or not so what i will do i will provide the email and the email of this particular document is ask at the rate email dot com so i will type the ask at the rate email dot com and uh, now when i click on continue it will show the progress and after that the data will be retrieved and it will be di displayed here here you can see we have retrieved our data so in this way you can retrieve the data when you don't know the id of a particular document okay so let's move on to the third way that is how to retrieve all the document inside a collection so suppose our a collection contains more than one document and you want to retrieve all the document inside a collection called user so how you can do this we will see in the last way so i have add this two two dummy document inside a user collection so i will retrieve all these three document from a user's collection so let's see how we can do this so now i have rendered this this screen this will contain a future builder and this feature builder is because retrieving the data is will take a time so we need to show the progress that's why i use the feature builder currently i am returning the progress and this is the progress and when our data is being and when the data is retrieved we will show the data in form of list view okay so let's see how we can do this so we will check if snap dot has data that is our data is now loaded and it is available to show then we will simply return the list view dot builder view dot builder and this builder will return the item builder with context and index of particular element or the data and now we will simply return the list type and this list tile will contain and inside this list tile we will render the title and we will provide the text and also we will use the subtitle and we will also provide the text and 
now we will provide the future we are currently i am not providing anything because we will load the data inside this text field using a snap uh, snapshot that is a sync snapshot so first of all i will provide the future builder and later we will add the data inside this text okay so first of all i will provide the future and uh, to provide this future i will create a function and uh, the function should be appear here and here i will call retrieve all data and it should be a type of a sync and after this we will ask for the collection name collection name and then we will simply call firebase firestore dot instance dot collection and we will pass this reference that is the collection name here to the collection path and then we will call simply call the get and this will return all the document present inside a particular collection and then it will return the future query snapshot that is here you can see so i will copy this query snapshot and i will hold this query snapshot inside a instance of query snapshot equal to await because it is a future and we need to wait until it completed so uh, what that's why i'm using await so after getting the data all the data inside a collection it will hold in hold it inside a query snapshot instance and we will use this query snapshot instance to return the list of the document snapshot so we will simply return the docs okay like this so just return future dot value and inside this we will simply return query shot query snapshot dot docs now we are returning the list of a query snapshot query document snapshot so we need to specify the signature of this function so i will simply return and it should be a type of future so i will also called future and the rest will be the same and then we will call this retrieve all function retrieve all data function inside this future builder so we will simply call authentication dot instance dot retrieve all data and then we will pass the collection name that we want to retrieve i want to retrieve the users collection and since it is returning the query list of query snapshot so we will copy this and provide it inside the future builder so like this and make sure you import all necessary import all necessary classes and after that we will use this snap snap that is the list of query document snapshot to render the text okay so what i will do i will call snap dot then element at snap dot data dot element at and then i will pass the index that we are getting from here like this and then we, i will call get and after that i will pass the name and make sure you add the null check and the same will appear for the subtitle of this listed tile so i will copy this and then paste it here and provide the email so now we need to provide the item count of this listed tile so i will call the item count and i will pass the snap dot data that is the list of query document snapshot the data will be the list of query document snapshot then i will call the length to get the list to get the length of the list of document query snapshot like this so it will return the length of a document present inside this list okay so now when i hit save you will see the data will be retrieved here you can see so in this video we have seen how we can retrieve the document when we don't 
uh, so in this video we have seen how we can retrieve the document when we know the id of a particular document and when we don't know the id of a particular document we will also see how we can retrieve it and last we we will we have seen how we can retrieve all the document present inside a collection so in this way you can retrieve the data or retrieve the document from a collection or retrieve the data from a firestore database and uh, so in in the next video we will see how we can update the data inside a particular document so till then subscribe to this channel and please help us to reach 500 subscribers and make sure you like share and subscribe thanks for watching